I think I think I'll go where he goes. <laughs> no, we've managed so far. On our so quick uh, safety information at the start if you would please remain in your seats with your seatbelts fastened while the coach is moving, that would be fantastic. Don't stand up and walk back and forward while we are driving. If Colin needs to brake all of a sudden, you will then probably, possibly fall over and bash your head. And that's not what we want to do. Okay? However, for minor bumps and bruises, we do have a first aid kit on board. It's in the first compartment on the left hand side above the first seat row. There's a fire extinguisher on board as well, which is behind Colin's seat. Our main entrance is here in the front on the left, and there's an emergency exit in the rear of the coach. You can use that in case of an emergency, of course, but otherwise only use it if Colin opens the door. Don't try and open it yourself, because it depends on the road situation. There's various red hammers for smashing the windows. You might want to make yourselves familiar with the nearest one. Um, don't use them if you feel too hot. Uh, we have that topic, let me know. And we get it changed in a cheaper way for us. Okay? Good, so that's the safety briefing done. And I come to the more interesting part. You have arrived here on the main island of Orkney, and it's called Mainland. Just to keep it simple, Mainland for Main Island. And this is our capital city, Kirkwall. I'm quite sure some of you have already had a walk through our shopping street here in Kirkwall. Capital Kirkwall, the Royal Borough of Kirkwall. Roughly 8,500 people live here. Maybe slightly more now, maybe just under 9,000. There's a total of people in Orkney of 22,500. Two thirds of them live on the main island, and the rest is just living on the outer islands. There is a total of 70 islands in Orkney, but only 20 are permanently inhabited. The rest of them are some, maybe just grazing land or some rocks that stick out of the sea. We're driving past some of our restaurants. You see, we've got a Chinese restaurant, we've got an Indian restaurant, and we do have an Italian restaurant. That's it. There's a couple of fish and chip shops, and if you look up to your right now, you will see our supermarket alley. We've got a Tesco, and we've got a Lidl, and that's it. So it's a very small community up here, and that's the only large supermarkets here. And if you've walked through the shopping street, you've probably realized there's a few lovely little cafes, a few souvenir shops, one shoe shop, one clothes shop for men. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so more or less, not a lot going on here. On your left side, the building, that's the Roman Catholic Church, St. Magnus Cathedral on the opposite. If you've visited our beautiful cathedral, does not belong to a specific religion thing. A cathedral that is owned by the people who live around it. Maintain, main, main, maintained by the Orkney Islands Council. The cathedral was built in 1137, dedicated to St. Magnus, and it took 300 years to construct it. And if you visited in the morning, you would have seen a red and yellow sandstone local sandstone used for constructing this beautiful cathedral. So this means there is a service every Sunday, a Church of Scotland service, but it does not really matter what religion you believe in. You can get married in the church, you can have a ceremony in the church, and they're also doing funerals, uh, services for funerals, no matter what religion you believe in. Very unique, fantastic thing. Building on your right hand side now, 
coming up the round shaped building, the white one. That's our uh, small hospital, constructed in 2019. It was actually when it was finished, just prior to the COVID pandemic. Unfortunately, they missed out constructing a um, intensive care unit, so there's no ICU here. They do have a maternity ward. There's a huge dental centre for all sorts of dental operations. There's accidents and emergency. You might want to bear in mind it's only open Monday to Friday. And there's also um, 60 single bedrooms in this hospital. So it's a basic hospital. Um, there's no specialists here for that. For, um, Ortho, there's no orthopedic surgeon, for example, there's no cardiologist here, there's no children's doctor here. So these specialists come up to Orkney every two weeks uh, for post-operative checks, but hip replacement or heart surgery is not performed up here. So 